am Alok Nanda, I am into real estate construction and hospitality otherwise as my profession and dogs and uh, wildlife is my hobby and my passion. I was showing dogs around 30 years back but I left the game around 24 years back and now I am back in the game around from last 3 to 4 years I have been again showing the dogs. I started with the Tibetan Mastiffs, now I have around 20 Tibetan Mastiffs in my kennel in Palampur and after that I started with the Pomeranians and the Schnauzers. Right now we have around 13-14 uh, Pomeranians and 6 Schnauzers at my home. And uh, we are showing all over the India in other countries also. But my main Pong already has more than 65 best in show lineups right now. And we are targeting for the 100 lineups this year. We got our first pair of Pomeranian around two and a half years back. From then we have never seen back the Pomeranians. Continuously our Poms are the number one winning dogs in India throughout last three seasons. And uh, after that we have started concentrating more on the breeding of the Pomeranians. Now uh, we have homebred many puppies and we have right now around 12 Pomeranians at my home. And with the Snousers also same way when I first bought the pair of the Snousers one was albino white female and other was black silver and uh, black male. And no one was seriously breeding Snousers in India. It's a group 2 dog in the FCI but in uh, America it comes into a terrier group. And uh, that's a, being a small breed also they have a strength, they have a courage of a large size working dog and they have such a energy full play full day you can't kill their energy in the end of a day they are always ready to play they are always ready to guard you they are always ready to love you they are always ready to protect you they are the most like uh, hardy breed which i have seen in the small breeds for the pure bred dogs you know what you are going to get in the small age most of breed puppies look similar but once it's like buying a puppy for 10-12 thousand and buying a puppy for the 50 thousand but people forget that in the end he's going to there with the owner for at least 10 to 15 years of his life he should first do his reiki and find some good breeder who is been breeding from last quite few years and have a proven result or he can visit dog shows and over see who, whose dogs are breeding who's having a good uh, progeny whose dogs are uh, producing good progeny he can select accordingly but over in india I think most of the people they are buying from the pet shops from the veterinarians from the pet uh, dog mills which are mushrooming all over the country which are not bother about the any breeding they are they don't have any breathing ethics which is like they are selling some community not a pet dog masters now we are breeding from three years bombs we are breeding from last two and a half to two years schnauzers also now we are breeding from last one and a half years my tibetan masters are from china also tibetan masters are from europe also from uh, some of the selected lines which were exported from the tibetan plateau to europe and other parts of the world so but i have some aboriginal stock from the china also from the very asian lines which are now nowhere available my first form came from the Russia from uh, Classic Movement Kennel and uh, he is still like our main show dog and uh, my other female also one female also came from her only then we have other few dogs from the which are uh, with the pedigree from the Thailand also my first couple of schnauzers came from the Russia, one male and one albino female, one black and silver male. Right now we are breeding on those lines only but in future we are going to add a couple of more schnauzers. The feed is also very important. Uh, we try to give as much as fresh food and balance it with the supplements. Like uh, you can see we are giving them pumpkin, carrots, kadu and other green seasonal vegetables we use with the eggs we, and we are using three kind of oils. We are using corn oil, then we are using uh, coconut oil, then we are using salmon oil to balance it. Then we put other supplements like vitamin H, biotin, vitamin E and and uh, multivitamin supplements to balance it. It is very important to give a very balanced diet for the, like especially the dogs with the long coat. We have to maintain the coat throughout the season. So, omega 3, omega 3, 6, 9, vitamin E, vitamin H is very important to keep in the regular. So, we 
always try to give like uh, for the protein we are using chicken we are using mutton we are using fish fresh fish then eggs then we are using whey protein powder for the proteins and uh, some leafy vegetables we even put coriander because coriander is rich in vitamin A and that's how we balance the meal for them and twice a week we give them with the curd for the Tibetan mastels because they are in the kennel in the uh, uphills in Palapur. So twice a day for 2-3 hours in the morning they are open in the runs in the open fields. 2-3 hours in the evening they are always open. 5-6 to six hours in the day they are in the open fields. And for Pomeranian even a small room is enough for them in case they are open. We don't keep our dogs caged anytime. Only kennels are for the whelk or small puppies till they are at least 2 or 3 months old. For the youngsters, newcomers in the game, I will just suggest take it as a game, not as a business. They should come for the promotion of the breed, whatever they select, whichever breed they want to breed. They should first read, they should be know the, the breed standards before going into that breed. Over here in India, they don't have a basic knowledge of the grooming also. Especially in uh, many uh, breeds with the long hairs. So she should, they should learn from other or they should learn from abroad about the grooming part also. Before going through, in case they are going for the some long hair breed or they are going for some fancy breed. Over in India also, the smaller breeds, the Schnauzers and the Pomeranians, they have a very bright future. If they are seriously bred to a good standard, the Schnauzer is very good for the apartment life, for the people who are allergic, who are asthmatic, because they are hypoallergic breed, they don't shed the coat and maintainers, they are low maintenance dog. And I would like the people to keep on watching Tailwaggers and subscribe to the channel because they will be gaining knowledge by seeing the future posts, future videos they posted about the dogs, about the up, uh, grooming, about the upkeeping of the dogs, about the breeders.